This installation video is for the Buddy S24 patch splice version of the closure. It is recommended that you first view the Buddy S24 splice splice termination procedure, also featured in this YouTube playlist, for detailed information on the installation steps required to install the closure prior to terminating the patch splice panel as illustrated in this video. For the 12 or 24 fiber splice patch version, the FOSC splice trays, SC adapter bulkhead bracket, and SCAPC pigtails will be pre-installed in the closure. Prepare the pigtail cables by cutting the tubing to a length that will allow them to tie off onto the right side of the splice tray basket. Wrap a piece of foam around the bundle of up to 12 pigtails. Two bundles of up to 12 pigtails can be secured to the splice tray basket. When attaching the first bundle, make sure the second bundle can be easily secured to the top of the splice tray basket. Cut off the tie wrap tail. Next, Locate a transport tube and place a wrap of felt tape one inch from the end. Group up to 12 fibers and begin feeding them through the transport tubing until they exit the other end. While pulling the fibers through the tubing, route the tubing up to the right side of the splice tray basket just below where the pigtail tubing ends. Secure the tube to the side of the basket. Cut the tie wrap tail off. Now, loop the transport tubing around the tray tower and over to the left side of the splice tray. Set the tubing on the splice tray and make a mark one inch from the end of the tray. Using a buffer tubing cutter set to the proper depth, remove additional buffer tubing. Place felt tape around the end of the transport tube. Affix the transport tube to the splice tray using two tie wraps. Cut the tie wrap tail off. Route the fibers into the tray one revolution and determine the splice pack to use for splicing. Cut the fibers to length and store them away for future splicing operations. Place the tray cover over the splice tray and push the tabs to lock it into position. Using a one-click cleaner or equivalent cleaning device, make sure that both ends of the connection are clean. First, clean the drop cable connectors. Next, identify the proper bulkhead connector to be used. Using a one-click cleaner or equivalent cleaning device, clean the bulkhead adapter connector. Place the connector into the bulkhead. Route the cable down through the cable entry ports. Repeat this procedure for all drop cables to be installed in the closure. Once all the drop cables are connected, divide the cables into groups and slide them into their cable entry ports. Ensure there is a small amount of slack in the closure. Install the front cover and lock the unit by turning the captive screws one half turn clockwise.